In this video, I'm masquerading as Mr. Hall, one of our middle school science teachers, and I'm going to go ahead and add an uh, assignment um, for my sections of Science 7. So I've selected the assignments uh, located here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to go ahead and um, add an assignment. And I'm going to call, I'm going to paste in the details of this assignment. I'm going to let them know to submit a lucid chart diagram of concussion prevention. And then I'm going to scroll down. Um, this, I can again make it uh, a certain number of points. I can select uh, what assignment group this appears in. So this is going to appear in the homework group. I can display uh, points, percentages, complete and incomplete. I'm just going to make this a complete or incomplete assignment. The submission type I'm going to make online again. I'm going to make it so that it's a website URL. But this time, instead of assigning to everyone, I'm going to assign it to a certain uh, course section. So I have a section called uh, 7-1 that uh, will meet uh, tomorrow. Uh, the 13th, and so I'm going to go ahead and make sec section 7-1. Uh, this assignment appear on January 13th, and then I'm going to add section 7-2. Um, they'll meet on uh, uh, Thursday the 14th, so they're going to have a different date. And then finally, uh, section 7-3 and section 7-4 and section 7-5 all meet on uh, Monday the 18th. And when I go ahead and click Save and Publish, this one assignment will uh, be appropriately assigned to the due date to the different classes' calendars based on when they're meet and when they're expected to submit this assignment. So I go ahead and click now Save and Publish, and that would appear on their calendar. Differentiated due dates is a great way to have one assignment uh, that's linked into your course across different sections.